Anyway, later on in season three. <laughs> I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> Hey there, fellow nerds. Nerdy Kid at Heart here. I'm Chuki. Yes. And today we will be discussing The Dragon Prince Season 3. Yes. We both just watched it and we both enjoy the show. There was a lot of turning points oh, yeah. in this season. A lot for over the overall story and individual characters, which is amazing. Oh, the, the reading development was so great in this show. I mean, I, just the whole show in general, but I loved it in Season 3. It was, no, see, yeah, really there's good. a lot of... Yeah. A lot of that, and and ooh, you know, Raylan Raylan Callum. Ah! <laughs> Finally, <laughs> feels weird to ship kids. <laughs> they're not kids. They're what? teenagers. They're they're what are their ages? Um, yeah, I, I, I I imagine like at least sixteen. Yeah, sixteen. Yeah, they're they're you know. Yeah, they're I just want them to be together. Adolescents. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I want to touch on the intro, like the very the intro uh, in in the very first season in the opening we see. The land of Xadia, we see a dragon and we see a dark mage. Uh, you know, it's just a simple establishing the story. Okay, the start of season three, similar intro, but now we get to see a a a a a, a, dialogue. a dialogue between the dragon known as Sol Regum, Sol mm -hmm. Regum, and the dark mage, which is unnamed. We don't know who what his name is. I don't know who the dark mage is, but during during their dialogue, here's something that that's that stood out to me. First of all, Sol Regum says or mentions that he has followers you and your follower followers must give up your dark magic i mean i would assume that would have to be the case because if it was just one person then they can you know try to all of zadia can be like hey you one guy get out of here but they they ban they banish the whole of humanity that's right they got rid of all of them everyone so there, must, there must have been a quite a few people and, and what was neat is we got to see the the very calloused figure of Sol Regum and, and how he he was willing to go sacrifice a city. Oh no, that, that he was, was yeah. He was willing to go kill the city in, in response to him just getting out of there. He just wanted him out of there. So so you see that there's still the same kind of dark nature in the creatures of Zadia as well. And that was that's what I was gonna mention. Yes, they're just as human as as you know humans are. They're just they're just as, the they're just as capable of. Of uh, evil, evil, evil intentions. Yeah. yeah, just as yeah, which is brilliant. Earlier videos that I've done, um, I pointed out that in this show, there's not there's not a definite good guy, bad guy. There's right. not a definite evil and good. It's it's you know it's it's a I, the way I describe. It, I don't know if this expression exists, but that's how I describe it. It's a conflict of morale. Right. You know, uh, you have right. for example, conflict of morality. You morality, mean? morality. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Claudia, in her perspective, dark magic is not evil it's just a means to use yeah. the magic in it's, other creatures right. and and the fact that she calls out Callum saying why are you being so judgmental it's like well you know and, and i and, and just for the record you know i i side with Callum like i don't think it's correct i don't know no, yeah. and i think you're right that's that's where the judgment i think comes in cuz no no matter it, it her reasoning behind it <laughs> seems very justified but in the end you're killing innocent creatures mm -hmm. to give yourself extra power and that's wrong Callum uh, is the, as far as we know, the only human who is connected to a primal magic, right? That learned, that, I think, that, that learned that how found, to... found his own connection to it. Connection, there we, we go, yes. Uh, I kind of think there's one more. One more what? One more person who's... Who can? Who's getting it. And I think it's Ezrin. I've always been different. It's hard for me to make friends with other kids. I just feel like I don't fit in. But with animals, somehow I have this connection and a few years ago i realized i could understand what they were saying creatures connected to the earth are patient sometimes patient. Stubborn, stubborn and care deeply about the history and balance of the natural world because of that he's been uh he's been making this unknowing connection to the earth uh primal source all of his mm. life and i think his ability to speak with animals is a magical ability granted to him from that connection never you know what i just took it for granted but yeah, Why does that, he have that, that sounds gift? like a magical ability, doesn't it? Something happened in season three that I felt helped a theory that I've had, which is not a new theory. This has been around since season one. Uh, the fact or the the theory that King Harrow is still alive. Tonight we bind our lives to justice. Life is precious. Life is valuable. We take it. But we do not take it lightly. We take it, but we don't take it lightly. Moon reflects sun. 
as death reflects light. Death. Okay, in there, the ceremony's finished. It glows. Mm -hmm. So in there, they mention death. death yes. Obviously, they're assassins. This is an assassination pact. Yes. But there is no mentioning that he has to, for for the spell to be done, he has to die. We also have Lord Viren, who wants to, who's been providing King Harrow other ways of trying to avoid dying, which he brings out the two-headed snake. Mm -hmm. uh, talks about switching bodies. Offers even to, in the end, to switch him with him with himself. And and King Harrow says no. No. Um, and then he goes back in, and then we don't see what happens. So okay. if you were to go in with the two-headed snake and actually do it, the only other creature, which they show, they show an image of the bird uh, also. They even have him trapped at one point. And, he, mm -hmm. and when Lord Baron says, what, no song? I don't think uh, a man who's just barely put in a new bird body knows how to sing yet. And then, so if it were possible for his spirit to be gone into, some, uh, to, into the bird and the bird's spirit to go into his body... The body's still living. <laughs> I know this sounds this sounds silly. I can just imagine for Can you imagine for this arrow? Arrow like, arrow! <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't know if so, knows how to behave like a So anyway, and when then when they finally kill him and then the so the body stops working, the body dies and so the, the thing falls off. <laughs> anyway, later on in season 3, <laughs> I'll give you a minute. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> the image in my mind, which I'm sorry, gives me more reason to think that it was, it was not that it, it, there was no likelihood that they could have switched. All right. <laughs> That's why they didn't show it. It been too funny, and it was a serious scene. <laughs> Can you imagine the assassins going in? There's a king. <laughs> <And he's> like, <laughs> <laughs> this is genius. <laughs> Here's the reason why I think he is. He is dead. Why? Why he is dead? Um, mainly because uh, it is. It has not been. It's not been brought up again. As, I think this is intentional deception. They want us to believe that he's dead. As silly as you silly, are, a sheep. <laughs> he just is dead. Why? Because the the band the, the band fell off. For me, my my theory is it's the spirit. You know, if if the if King Harrow's spirit was switched into the bird, it would have not have fallen. Ezrin hasn't seen the bird since either. And I think that's important. Because if Ezrin had, Ezrin could communicate with it and be like, oh, dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. When when Ezrin returns to take up the throne, the bird should naturally have been there. And there's no bird there. We, we, we don't even know what happened to the bird. Uh, other than it's either in King Harrow's room, which, we, which I don't think is the case. Or they've moved it into somebody else's room, or yeah, or yeah. let it. I, I don't think Lord Viren let I, it die because he did say the reason he was doing it was for the sake of his friend. I'm hesitant. We don't have to agree, but I will take something that How I Met Your Mother fans will know. Do you ever watch that show? I have not seen that show, but yeah, go ahead. Are you willing to enter a slap bet? A slap bet. <laughs> oh. if, if at any point throughout the run of the show, one of us is proven right. The other one gets to slap him in the face. Are you serious? Is it? A, is this a real thing? This is a real thing. Are you serious <laughs> so, about the slap? I'm serious about the, the slap. slap do you want? Do you want to participate? Are you willing to stick by your word? Are you so positive that you're willing to take a slap in the face if you're wrong? Yes. Okay. Yes, I'm that confident. Slap bet. I am gonna. I am that confident. <laughs> All right. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The final, final scene of the last episode of season three. <laughs> The, that was crazy. the cocoon the thingy. Cocoon. What the heck? So here's Whoa. here's my quick little theory. Oh my gosh, Aravos Ar is going to create some type of body that he can possess. But uh, it was shocking that to see Claudia use the spell again. We don't know which animal. He, she. Did you notice the boot in the background? The boot. You can see in the background. There's a boot laying there, like a foot. Oh, Claudia, not again. Yeah, yeah. I did not catch that. That is horrible. Last but not least, uh, Callum and Rayla. Oh, Callum and Rayla. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, can I say one thing, though? Sure. Might be an unpopular opinion. Um, it's great. It's cute. All the moments when they kiss. I just, for some reason, I just kind of have the wish that they didn't overdo it too much. I the, the first, they the, got too lovey-dovey? It got too lovey-dovey. Too much PDA.
<laughs> a bit too much of PDA. Story wise, though, like it's actually more fun when they tease or when they tease you. Like, oh, they're about to kiss and they don't kiss. Like, ah! I feel like when you're a teenager and you kiss for the first time, you just keep doing it. So I think it was accurate to what teenagers do. But I I, I agree with the. Uh, you don't think that's what teenagers no, it's, do? It's cute. It's cute. Man. Do not misunderstand me. It's that's cute. It for me. When they when they did kiss, I'm like, oh, but like. But I really wish they saved those kisses for the final. I think that would have, for me, that would have been like, ah. they they kind of lost that 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 builds in their relationship, like that that anticipation, like kiss the girl, you know right. that that kiss it. <laughs> but other than that, though, it was brilliant. It, they're cute. They're awesome. Uh, their religion, their relationship goals. <laughs> yeah, I wish, I wish, I wish there was a girl that would. Sixteen, dude. Huh? Oh man! No, like yeah, it would I, be fun like, if all relationships. Like I wish, like I wish it was a, a, an, an assassin <laughs> female coming after me, and then we become friends that way. And that'd be that'd be awesome. So an assassin girl to sweep you off your feet. Yes, yeah. Okay. Sweep the leg. Sweep the leg. <laughs> sweep, the, sweep the leg's not a thing in sword fighting. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, uh, what about you guys? What do you think? What are your theories? Your predictions? Your reactions to this? I would like to, uh, we would like to know about them. So please, uh, please uh, provide those in, in the, you know, in the comments down below. We, we would like to hear from you guys. Uh, do you agree with us? Do you agree with him? Or what have we talked about? Or, or do you, are you, you know, team nerdy, nerdy kid at heart or, or team Chucky? Are we all missing something? Are, are, are we missing? We want to hear from you. So, so, so go ahead guys, leave, leave, leave comments, please. I would love to see them and let's keep this going. Cause there's so much that we still, that we still haven't covered, but these are the main things I wanted to cover. All right. Okay. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thanks for, thanks for joining.